today we will be exploring body percussion. So you won't need any materials to engage with me today except yourselves. But having a buddy with you might be helpful. What we'll be focusing on today is sustaining attention, following directions, and exercising gross motor functions. Let's get started. I'm so excited to talk with you all about percussion and more specifically body percussion today. My primary instrument is percussion and it's such a blast to be able to connect with other people through music. Now, you don't need any prior musical experience to engage with me today. So let me tell you a little bit about percussion. So percussion instruments are usually instruments that are played by striking them with your hands or with a stick. Now, the art of body percussion is using your body and striking another part of your body in order to produce various sounds. I'm sure that everyone here has practiced using body percussion at some point. So let's get started. First, let's have a seat. I'd like for you to get into a comfortable upright seated position and try to relax your arms and hands. Let's just put them down at our sides. We're gonna wiggle them out a little bit. Make sure you feel nice and comfortable and loose. And then we're just going to leave our hands in our laps for now. Now that we're limber, let's get started by making some sounds with just one hand and one arm. I'm going to use my right arm and hand, but you can use whichever one is most comfortable for you. We're going to use our hands or our fists to pat our laps. So you can think of your lap as your drum. If you have a buddy with you, maybe your buddy can assist you by helping you to raise your arm when I give you that instruction. Okay. So the first sound we're going to make is a pat. We're going to take our arm, raise it up, and then drop it. Now, let's try that with our other arm. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to raise our arm up to here and drop it. Okay, now we're going to take those two ideas and put them together. So we will be alternating our hands. Raise your right arm and drop it. Raise your left arm and drop it. Raise your right arm, drop it. Raise your left arm, drop it. Raise your right arm, drop it. Raise your left arm and drop it. Right arm, drop. Left arm, drop. Right arm, drop. Left arm, drop. Last time, right arm, drop. Left arm, drop. Awesome job, you guys. We're going to take the technique that we just learned and we're going to speed it up a little bit. Now it's a drum roll. Let's start with our right hand. We're going to raise our right hand and drop it. Raise our left hand and drop it. Right, left, right, left, right left, right, 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 left, all right, keep going. Now speed it up even more. All right, let's go into a rumble. The next sound that we're going to explore is a clap. So what you can do is have your arms out in front of you like this. Your palms are facing each other and you're going to bring your hands together and make a sound. Now, if you have a buddy with you, your buddy can assist you by supporting you at the wrists on both hands and helping you to bring your hands together in a clap. 
Let's practice that a couple times. Ready? All right. Clap. The last sound that we're going to explore today is rubbing our hands together. You can also rub your hands on your legs if that's easier for you. Let me show you how. Okay, we're going to hold our hands out in front of us again with our palms facing each other. Bring your hands together like this and you're going to move your hands back and forth against each other. Now you can go in a circular motion if you want to, you can go back and forth, it's totally up to you. If you have a buddy with you, your buddy can support you by putting their hands on your wrists and guiding your hands to rub against each other. Let's go over the sounds that we learned today. The first one was a pat. So we lifted our right arm and dropped it on our lap we lifted our left arm and dropped it on our lap. Right, drop, left, drop, right, drop, left, drop, last time. Right, drop, left, drop. Awesome job. The next sound that we learned was the drum roll. So it was really similar to the pat, except we're going a bit faster. Let's do a drum roll as fast as we can for four counts. Ready? We're going to start with our right. One, two, three, four, and stop. The next sound that we learned was a clap. Let's clap together for four counts. Ready? One, two, three, four. Awesome job. The last sound that we learned was a rub. So we took our hands and we rubbed them together. Let's do that again together for four counts. Ready? One, two, three, four, and stop. The last thing that we're going to do is put all of those sounds together into sort of a choreography. We'll start with our pat. We'll go into our clap. Then we'll go into our rub, and then we'll end with a drum roll. Once again, we'll start with our pat, we'll go into our clap, then we'll go into the rub, and then we'll end with the drum roll. So what we're gonna do is play each sound for 16 counts. Don't worry about counting, I'll be counting out loud, and all you have to do is worry about listening to my verbal cues. We're gonna start with our pat. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Get ready for the clap. 14, 15, last time, 16. Okay, clap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Get ready for the rub. 13. 14, 15, last time, 16, rub. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Get ready for the drum roll. 14, 15 last time, 16 drum roll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's speed it up. 11, 
13. All right, now let's end it as fast as we can. 15, 16, and stop. Awesome job, you guys. Thank you for following along and giving that choreography a try. You should be really proud of what you accomplished today. Thank you for joining me and exploring some body percussion. See you next time. Bye.